I wanted to print this wire holder that I found on Thingiverse and print it on my Fabricator Mini, my original Fabricator Mini. But unfortunately, it really let me down. I got some major shifting and failure on this print and I've never seen this before on my Fabricator Mini. Well, I figured out how to fix it and I'll show you how on today's Film of Friday. Here's the design I found on Thingiverse. It's the solder cable holder by user Landon81. When I printed it on my Fabricator Mini, this was the result. It was shifting in the X direction and I just stopped the print. It looks so bad. First thing I did was move the bed back and forth to see if there was any binding, but there was nothing. The next step is I check the tension on the belt and this is one continuous belt that loops back and forth and stops at this tie strap. So what I decided to do is just cut the tie strap and then pull this uh, belt tight and then re-tie strap it in place. And I got it pretty good. So I printed again. Only this time I printed my chest pawn and it was printing decent until it got to the top and then shifting started again. It was terrible. Then I just flipped the machine upside down and found the x-axis adjustment to adjust the current on the driver. I had these set at 0.75 and I've showed this in a previous video how you set them. So I bumped it to 0.85 to increase the current to the motor. And then I tried printing again. But even that adjustment didn't matter. It started out really good and then shifted so I just stopped the print. It, it wasn't worth continuing. I went back and moved the bed back and forth and then look what I found. This gear was loose on the motor. It was turning with the shaft, but I noticed it was just a little bit off and it was completely loose. And there's only one little set screw holding this thing in place. And it's in a bad location. So let me show you how I got to it and tightened it up. So I taped this belt to the side so it was out of the way. And then I got my drill with a small drill bit and I just drilled an access hole so I could get to that set screw. And then I took a very small Allen wrench. I think this was a 0.9 millimeter. It just barely fit. And I just retightened that set screw by first pushing down on the gear and then tighten it with the Allen wrench. And this thing was solid. So I was ready to try again. And here's the result. My Fabricator Mini is back. This thing is perfect. I couldn't ask for a better print. And while all this was going on, I printed it on the Flashforge Dreamer and then compared the two. Frankly, I can't tell the two apart. They're, other than the color, they both look perfect. So that was the fix. So I stripped a couple wires and stuck them in the slots and they held really tight and I could line the wires up straight in line. So I was ready to get out the solder and my soldering iron. Now this was a little bit tight. I think I'd like a little more room or a little more space in here. But it held the wires perfectly while I soldered them. Now I think I'd put a rubber foot or something on the bottom of this so it doesn't move around. But when it was done I let it cool and then pulled the wires out and there I had it. Perfectly straight solder joint. It came out really good so it worked perfect. So there you go. Sometimes you're only a set screw away from a bad print to a good print. And it turned out really good. The results were comparable to the one I printed on the Flash Force Dreamer. And I'll tell you what. I actually like the Mini a little bit better, but I love the prints I get out of the Flash Forge. But you know, $200 printer versus $1,100 printer, not a lot of difference. Now, someone who knows electronics would say just get one of those third hands, which is what this is here. It's got two little alligator clips, and you can adjust the arms and however you want. And I've used this for many years. This thing is beat up. I use it to hold circuit boards, to hold wires, and everything else I'm trying to work on. But when you're trying to get two wires to line up like that, the third hand doesn't work as well as this thing. So this was a good print. The only thing I think I'd do is maybe bring this into Tinkercad, split it in half, and widen it so I can get my soldering iron in there. So anyway, it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. If you like this print, give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Almost to 10K. In fact, by the time you watch this, I may be at 10K. And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month, there's a link up here somewhere. It goes a long way. 
So that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.